All right, so I'm here at the rigger shed, and today I got some riggers that are going to be going over what they do in their area. So you're probably asking yourself, what is a rigger? Um, why do they wear the red hats? And that's what we're about to get into right now. So as you can see here, we have a lot of loads lined up. Uh, these were all built here at Fort Polk for Jordan Rennes Training Center. Uh, they're built from the ground up, and based on what we get in as a request, this will either be simulated ammunition or live commodities such as water and MREs. <clears throat> from this point here, after they're built, this will get transed up to our staging facility, and from there, once again, that's when you'll do your joint airdrop inspections. We will attach the parachutes, depending on what the load is, whether it's the high velocity like this, meaning it'll get a 26-foot parachute on it, or if it's a low velocity, it will get your G12 Echo. Once the parachutes are attached, once again, the JAIs will go ahead and do their job, and they'll start moving it from the staging area out onto the planes where it will take off, and they'll bring it on down, drop it into the box for the guys to go ahead and recover. So they got everything they need out there. Look like I was perfect the whole time. I'm okay with that. Uh, this is the G12 Echo. You can hold it to 2,200 pounds. Uh, it's gonna drop in your CDS bundles. We can use this in a C-17, C-130. Depending on which airplane you're gonna drop out of, depends on what the height of this load can be. Back here, as I said before, this is our 26 foot <clears throat> parachute. This is a high velocity airdrop, which means it's gonna come down much faster than with the G12. Therefore, it has more honeycomb, which is this stuff here, which is a dissipating material. So when it hits, the weight dissipates and nothing will break inside. <clears throat> Over here, this is what we call low cost, low altitude parachutes. Now these are basically built to be used once and then destroyed, pretty much. So as you can see here, the same thing, all these are one use items. So these straps here, we don't use D-rings on these. This right here is one inch tubular nylon, which is wrapped around and then taped up. As you can see, based on the weight, 100 pounds for each parachute, so this is called triple cross. Triple cross means we have three parachutes on this load. <clears throat> this load is specifically used from a lower altitude. Uh, and again, it's used so that none of the material here needs to be recovered by anybody on the ground. They'll come, they'll take whatever supplies they have underneath it, and then they can move about on their way. Okay. So thanks for dropping by the airdrop facility, and I hope you learned a little bit of something today. So as a parachute rigger, we can go to almost any course in the Army. Airborne school is mandatory for parachute riggers. We, go, we even go to airborne school before we go to AIT. Uh, that's to make sure that, to make sure that people uh, can be airborne to be this MOS. You have to be airborne to be a parachute rigger, and if you can't pass airborne, why would they send you to the schoolhouse? There's no point in having someone pack your parachute that you wouldn't feel comfortable jumping with it themselves. So we pack parachutes because if we weren't out there jumping with them, why would they trust our parachutes? It's mandated that we pack and jump with our own chutes annually because it lets the jumpers know that, hey, we're packing our parachutes and we're willing to jump with them ourselves. What other courses do you get? Maybe Ailey. We do. We get we get air load inspector certified, where we work with uh, we joint work with like the Air Force and the Navy. We'll put we'll make these big cargo bundles and we'll go up on the airplanes with them and inspect these bundles as they go out. Uh, we'll make sure that the chutes are attached properly and that all the uh, the mechanisms that we attach are working properly. You're probably wondering why I wear this red hat. Well, the red hat is the, the symbol of the parachute rigger. It's something that's the first thing you see when you look at us. It's it's bright red. It's basically a symbol of the inspector in the, the pack shed to make sure that that's the person who's in here inspecting the parachutes. And the same thing out on the drop zone. Anytime there's an issue out there or anything goes wrong, they know to look for the guy with the red hat. Okay. Go.